welcome to the second part of this episode about uh, marine e cryptocurrency returns so on this part i'm going to talk about medication uh how to treat it and what we do here with our quarantine station here at professional fish keepers our goal is always quality make sure the fish are healthy eating with the least probability of having any parasite so what i do here i make sure the parasite's life is as hard as possible and it's going to be almost impossible to have that parasite by the end of the quarantine procedure something very important is physiological stress of the fish so we try to have as least as possible so by buying the fish we choose a very good we choose the best suppliers make sure everything is net collected i cannot stress that enough if the fish was collected with cyanide it killed the coral killed everything that was around the coral and the fish will end up dying several months afterwards we have the collectors overseas they collect the fish it goes to a holding station and then no middlemen professional fish keepers right away they go into this receiving system where we mi mimic their water chemistry and the fish are released as fast as possible into very high quality water every time before we have a shipment all the water is changed the system is bleached disinfected clean new water new fish always not all the fish is sick in, in, when we receive them so when they are in quarantine one uh, if we see something suspicious uh, we get the fish we sedate the fish we do a skin scrape or skin biopsy and we start medicating the fish with cupramine we want to increase that concentration very slowly it usually takes us about three days to get to the concentration of 0 0.5 i like cupramine because it's a very stable medication it's calculated with an amino acid it's very easy to test i can run the uh, protein skimmer no uv sterilizer no carbon but by just by having the protein skimmer running the water quality will not deteriorate it as much plus i will have a lot more oxygen in the water so if there's parasites in their gills fish have a high demand for oxygen so that's that's crucial we get the fish there we test it with uh, our hawk systems this is a very important uh, uh, I like to have a digital number so hawk system very good if you don't have that capacity at least use a solid for test it gives you a good distinguish of colors between 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 is your target with Cooper, you can actually overdose if you mess up and you're not going to kill everything. Your overdose will be up to 0 0.8. But you, if you reach that, you want to do a water change and lower that concentration. So the fish there on this system will be treated for two parasites because not the fish doesn't just come with one parasite. Usually they might come with more, but not all the fish are sick. Very important. So we do this as a prevention as a prophylactic measure so i don't have cross contamination between fish the fish is treated for two parasites most of the fish don't have parasites but they still get treated as a provision as a prophylactic and then they come to this side where the level of cupramine already matches that system and but meanwhile i've been also decreasing the salinity if you only want to treat the fish for it with hyposalinity which means lower concentration of salt in specific gravity you can go up to 1.010 and that will kill the parasite but what i do here i go i drop the salinity to 1.016 i i feel like it's not as aggressive to the fish plus it will stress out the parasite it will make the medication more effective so they come to this side they stay under cupramine for 14 days at least and that's it meanwhile in between systems on this system we feed the fish heavy we always feed the fish heavy a lot of live food enriched live food so if you're doing brine shrimp enrich it with silicone if you're doing uh, medicated food add vitacam the food can be medicated with chloroquine vitacam you can also add garlic and you want to use also focus by secam so you bind the medication into the food the medication of choice would be chloroquine chloroquine can also be used as a medication to treat the protozoans like cryptocarium at home if you have the capacity to you set up a quarantine tank set it up the biggest the better you want to have a heater you want to have a hiding space no need for light i'll put the cover i will dose cupramine start lowering the salinity to 1.016 start increasing the cupramine slowly 
that's it and just wait make sure the fish is extremely well fed feed 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 if you do water changes make sure you replenish the cupramine that was taken out and test it to make sure it's at the right level when dropping the salinity you don't want to do it blindly at least use something like this this, uh, this is a, a hydrometer it's not expensive it's a, it's an okay way to measure your salinity at least you have an idea be careful with uh, having little bubbles in the needle so you want to pop up give it a little couple knocks so the needle goes down and it's accurate every time you use it you want to rinse it with with uh, fresh water if you want to be a little bit more precise I recommend getting something like this a refractometer so this is very good this is what most people do so it's very good and you want to calibrate it once in a while every time you use it you want to clean it clean the lens with with fresh water if you want to be even a little bit more precise and you like to have that digital number get this one amazing stuff this is what we use at the shop i love it if you're dosing a medication don't dose it blindly especially if you're doing powder if you want get this it's it's an affordable way to measure if you don't want to set up a tank for quarantine at least hydroplex your fish make sure they've been in the aquarium store for long for a period of in contact with uh, cupramine for a while so that will dec uh, d lower the, the possibility of you having a uh, cryptocarium now let's say your tank you have a reef tank full established and you got ink in your tank my recommendation is use the medicated food ink shield if they're not eating the pellets use uh, dr g's medicated food force them force them to eat that the other thing have a UV sterilizer running a proper UV sterilizer with a proper flow rate make sure the bulb is fresh the quartz sleeve is clean and have it running usually it will break the cycle and it will not it will be very difficult for the parasite to, to do cross contamination the other thing that you can do and now it's available great stuff great news there's some mixed reviews with those uh, reef safe medications I want to test them and do a proper review but just to at least you know they exist and let me show you reef medic by polyp lab this is pretty much an antioxidant and you want to dose it in the evening and in the morning and you can also run the UV sterilizer which is pretty cool but you got to turn it off uh, a few hours in between the dosing this so you really have to follow the, the directions do a plan set up a little plan when to dose always have a sheet uh, describing the medications that you did the times so write all that so you know where you at the other option is being in the market for a, a little bit longer it's called Kiki made, made by Ruby Reef so the principle behind this is that it attaches to the cilia of the protozoan and if the protozoan the ick cannot attach to the fish it will die when I was talking with, with the guys that make this what a lot of people fail to do is if you are on the 10th day of dosing and you see a spot a, a trough on the fish on the 10th day okay that's your first day so you start again first day and keep going until you're done so guys thank you very much for watching at the second part more videos will be coming soon so